Oftentimes, as a chemist, you'll need to prepare a solution of some desired concentration. Let's look at this example to see how one can determine the amount of solute they need in a given amount of solution for desired concentration. What mass of glucose is needed to prepare 500 milliliters of a solution that is 1.75 molar? Okay, so first of all what you want to do here is recognize what's given. What's given is that you're going to have a 500 milliliter solution. Okay, and what's wanted, and that particular solution is going to be a 1.75 molar concentration. And what's wanted is um, how many grams of glucose, which is C6H12O6, is needed to be put in that 500 milliliters to get that particular concentration. So when you have a situation like this, you can remember that the molar unit is um, 1.75 moles of solute per liter of solution. And you can use that molar concentration as a conversion between moles of solute and liters of solution. In this case, we know how, how, many, many, how much volume, just happens to be in terms of milliliters, and what we need to figure out is how many moles would be in that volume if it were that concentration, and then we can convert to grams. So the conversion is going to be from the volume given to the moles um, of the desired concentration in that volume to the mass uh, in that desired volume. So the volume uh, given here, so the conversion factor between volume and moles is going to be the molar concentration, and then the, con the conversion between moles and mass is going to be the molar mass. Okay, so uh, to work this problem, we start with what's given, um, 500 milliliters of solution. To convert to liters of solution, we have to convert to liters of solution because our volume to mole conversion is in units of moles per liter. Um, we'll just use the definition of a milliliter, 1,000 milliliters uh, per one liter of solution. So now we're in units of uh, liters. So we can use the molar mass, or excuse me, the molarity to convert to moles of solute. So we know how much solution we have, we can get into moles of solute. Um, through the desired concentration. So that's going to be 1.75 moles of glucose, C6H12O6, per one liter of uh, glucose solution. Now I'm in units of moles of glucose. I just need to get the mass. And the, uh, looking up on the periodic table, I figured out that the molar mass of glucose is 180 grams per one mole of glucose. 180 grams of glucose per um, one mole of glucose. So the mole unit is going to cancel, and I'm left in units of uh, grams of glucose. So I'll do all the math in my calculator, and I come out with a value of um, what's needed is 158 grams of glucose, C6H12O6, in that 500 milliliters of solution to give a concentration of 1.75 molar. So we can actually use the molar concentration as a conversion factor between moles of solute and liters of solution.